I am truly sorry and will forever regret my actions and will do all in my power to never act in a way that would harm others ever again. Thank you. First up, we're in Idaho Falls, Idaho, for the sentencing of Brian Johnson. The 50-year-old former high school teacher pleaded guilty to felony stalking of a 26-year-old former student who he'd recently been dating. Johnson was accused of violating a protection order filed against him by following the woman in public, leaving her harassing messages and entering her home while she was gone, including an alleged incident where he urinated on her bed. Facing a possible five years in prison, Johnson can be seen visibly shaking as he addresses the court. Your Honor, I'd like to take this chance to openly apologize for my actions. In this case, I take full responsibility and full, full, full remorse and regret, not because I was caught, but that I allowed my perspective and judgment to be so clouded by a number of issues that I chose to act the way I did. Johnson appears to become even more distraught when he apologizes to the victim whose name has been protected. And finally, and most importantly, I deeply and sincerely apologize to for all anxiety, depression, stress, fear, and any other negative emotions and financial burdens which my choices and actions did cause. I sincerely regret and feel deep sorrow and accept full responsibility for that which I have done. I hope and pray that she will be able to heal from this and not have any lingering impact in her life. I will do all of my power to never act in a way that would harm others ever again. Thank you, Honor. Before Judge Joel Tingey hands down a sentence, he tells the court there is much to consider when looking at Johnston's public persona versus his illicit behavior behind closed doors. This is not a case of a career criminal. This is somebody that was actually very productive in the community. Uh, role model, frankly, uh, who did a lot of good things uh, through his career. But I think when you look at a case such as this, where you're doing a sentencing, as you look at the conduct and the damage that was left in the wake of that conduct, which is extensive, frankly, immeasurable, uh, was subjected to basically living a hellish uh, life during this time frame. You can't Repair that. As part of the pre-sentencing report, the judge received numerous letters of support for Johnston. But he says this is a man with two very different sides. I say this is this is a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde case, and I get a lot of letters who really support Dr. Jekyll. But I'm sentencing Mr. Hyde. After a brief pause. Judge Tingey makes his ruling. Uh, the sentence on this will be five years, one and a half mix, three and a half indeterminate. As a condition of his sentence, Johnson was placed in a court-operated rider rehabilitation program that can significantly decrease his sentence if he receives intensive therapy and treatment behind bars before being reevaluated by the court. Johnson was released less than a year later after completing the program and was placed on probation for an additional four years. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.